Well, how y'all doing this morning? I hope y'all having a blessed morning. It is almost 3.30 a.m. here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, a sun update. Uh, my son texted me uh, yesterday just after 7 p.m. Uh, that he had gotten home. I don't know if there's a time difference up in North Carolina in here. I think maybe there's an hour. Uh, and I said, well, that's good. It was good to know that he made it home all right. <clears throat> Pardon me, and uh, I told him to get some rest, and you know, and because he had to be at work at 4 a.m. this morning. All right, so I'm sure he went in and and uh, got settled in and, and went right to sleep to get him some rest. Uh, I miss my son already. I wish uh, we had had more time together. It's funny. Um, I was watching a channel uh, that I follow, and they said they were out with their son and had uh, come across like a tag sale, garage sale kind of thing, and the man had a bunch of tools he was just giving away. And uh, he was he was snagging a bunch of them, I guess, and uh, his, his son told him, why you get more stuff? You, you already have too much stuff. You got to get rid of some of the stuff you have. You're trying to get rid of some of the stuff you have, and now you get more stuff. Uh, I think it's funny how um, when you get older, there there can be a, a role reversal uh, where your kids are kind of uh, verbally reprimanding you. <laughs> uh, I got that with my son because um, I was recording in, in Walmart's making a video and uh, I didn't know I couldn't do it. And... Uh, one of the employees said something to me, and I looked at him. I said, "I'm sorry. Are, are are you talking to me?" And then he said, "No." And um, my son, uh, I went a couple uh, aisles over. My son come and informed me that I couldn't be doing that. And uh, big thing on the speakers uh, um, uh, to the department where I was. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, recording in I guess they were calling security and my son was freaking out and uh I said I didn't know I didn't know I couldn't record in Walmart I you know they're recording me without my permission oh no it's posted on the door when you come in I said yeah like I'm supposed to see that and they can record me but I can't record them I, I you know that don't, sound, that don't sound right to me well, you're going to get us arrested. Security is going to end up over here, blah, blah, blah. And I said, look, I said, uh, you're just like overreacting, I think. <laughs> I, I ain't worried about it, and I don't think you should be either. And he said, well, uh, every security camera in this store is probably pointing at us right now. And I said, yeah, and if I could still raise my middle finger, I'd be giving them something to look at. <laughs> and I told him to chill out. But, uh, yeah, he was all over me about that. Uh, well, if anything, I look at it this way. I was his partner in crime, I guess, if I was committing a crime, you know. Uh, but it's funny how uh, there's a role reversal and stuff. And and I really think he needs to chill out on some of this stuff. <laughs> anyway, he kind of, he was kind of perturbed at me over that, and, uh. But it's kind of funny how there's a role reversal. And uh, he was a big help to me. He helped me a lot. I mean, he just went constantly the whole time he was here, helping me with things that, uh, you know, I, I really couldn't do myself. And it was a blessing to see him. I, I'm hoping that it doesn't take forever to see him again. He did talk about the possibility of moving here. Um, and I told him, come on down. Uh, we'll get a place together. So, uh, I miss him. I miss him already. It was, he was here for such a short time. It almost seemed like a dream. <laughs> and I was, I was fighting my sleep the, the night he left to try and stay awake, but I'm just not used to being up, uh, up that late. And he comes, said goodbye to me when he went. So, you know, sometimes you need a life change. Okay. He's been, he's been up there in North Carolina forever. And sometimes you just need a life change, and uh, I think I think he's reached that point. 
uh, where he needs a life change. He may up stay there. I don't know. There's been a couple times in my life where I needed a life change. You know, I just did. And I'm glad I did it. I am. Uh, it would be uh, very different for me uh, to be living with somebody again. It's been years. Um, I've been alone by choice uh, for six years now. I'm fully aware that I could have a partner if I want one. I mean, I could go shopping anytime I want to. Uh, but I find that a lot of the gentlemen I have met are really just looking for a mommy. All right, uh, unfortunately. There, I want somebody I can work with. If I have somebody, I have. I want somebody I can work with. Uh, not somebody that's going to sit on up in their recliner and shine up their tools while I'm supposed to be cooking and cleaning and picking up after them. You know, I made that statement here to somebody not too long ago. Um, if I wanted more kids, I would have had them. All right, so, but I find that a, a lot of single men these days are just looking for somebody to be a mommy to them. I think, uh, I think cooking and cleaning is not gen uh, gender uh, specific, okay? I think uh, a, a man can do that just as easy as a woman can, all right? And so uh, finding somebody like that, uh, you know, has not been my experience. What, what few times I have dated, really, they just wanted a mommy, you know, and I don't want that. I'm too old for that. Uh, I'm disabled. I ain't going to do that. And I told my son, I said, if we get a place together, we'll have to work together. All right. You know, uh, you're a grown man. uh I'm an older woman, <laughs> I can't do it no more, and really, it should never be that way, and uh, we'd have to work together, but I would love for my son to come live with me, I really would, I mean, sometimes uh, we're like an old married couple anyway, uh, I think he gets bent out of shape over things that, uh, I don't, my generation would have never <laughs> been out of shape over some of them things, and uh yeah, I, I would love for Walmart to uh, arrest a, a disabled senior citizen in a car for, for, for filming. Uh, yeah, I'd love for them to do that. <laughs> I could retire real comfortably on that. <laughs> so I'm not worried about it. But, uh, oh, he's, he seems to get a little bit upset over things that, uh, like I said, my generation would have never, never mm -mm, uh, worried about something like that. But he was genuinely uh, upset over that, and I, I tried to get him to. I tried to get him to chill. Okay, I tried to get him to relax and chill out. And just you know, it's not that bad, really. Uh, but it, it's funny how that you know roles will reverse like that, and I'm finding myself being re reprimanded for something I didn't even think was wrong. And the whole time I'm thinking, gee, I don't remember asking your permission. You know, <laughs> so. Uh, but I'd love to have him here. Um, yeah, I would. Uh, I like, I like spending time with my son. It was nice. It really was. So anyway, I'm glad he made it home safe. And, uh, he's a blessing to me. And uh, y'all have a bus day. Bye-bye.